Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited to show you how to paint this fantasy window scene. So I'm gonna be working on a 11 by 14 black primed canvas. I just painted over a canvas with black paint. You can do the same thing or you can actually purchase them um, pre-primed in black or use black gesso as well. So I'm gonna be using these three colors, light blue, violet, turquoise blue, and bright aqua green. So I'm gonna concentrate on the sky with a light blue violet, work my way down into turquoise blue and the bright aqua green. I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint the whole background this color and then work on some sand. And then I'm gonna come in with some palm trees and then a window. I'm just gonna apply the blue violet on the top. Blue turquoise. I'll also be using some titanium white. I'm gonna use my number 30 filbert brush and I'm just gonna begin, I've got my turquoise here I'll use in just a minute, but I'm gonna begin by getting my brush a little bit wet, pulling the blue and spreading it across the background. I wanna mention the reason why I'm using a black canvas is so that when it all dries, it's really gonna have um, a lot of depth in it because of the dark underpainting we've got here. And it also is really fun working on a black canvas to see the colors pop. I'm gonna take a little bit of my white now, start blending that down below and then work it up into the blue. Go ahead and add a little bit of an angle or a sweep up in either direction with your skies. Okay, and then right away, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of water without washing my brush off. And I'm just gonna go back and forth, right in this strip. Then my turquoise, not washing the brush off. Whoops. A little bit of white turquoise and create a glow in the water. I'm gonna go back over to my blue and a filbert brush. This one's the number eight. And I'm gonna go right on the horizon, right over top of the blue turquoise. This will give us a nice horizon line. Take a little bit of that white again. Meet that horizon line a little bit and work up from there. next color I'm going to introduce is a little bit of neon orange. You can just use any cadmium uh, cool orange that you have if you don't have this one. Then I'm going to grab another larger filbert brush and I'm going to take my white, a little bit of water, and I'm going to go over the turquoise here just to bring in the shoreline. And of course, where it's shallower, we're going to get lighter tones in the water.
more water and white. And just keep working your way up into the water. Okay, wash my brush out. I'm gonna take white now and my orange. Really beautiful peachy color for the sand. Be generous with your white because you know it's gonna dry darker. Two reasons. First, acrylic just dries darker in general. The second reason being is that we're painting on a black canvas and black is very strong and dominant so that's gonna show through once this dries. So if you wanna have that beautiful glowing sand, then make sure that you are gonna be using more white. I'm gonna take a little bit more of my turquoise and my white, a little bit of water. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of my tinted white with the orange just add a few sweeps across the sky i don't want to have a lot of clouds i just want a little suggestion of lazy sweeping clouds here see hardly anything at all i'm going to dry this off and then i'm going to come in with my palm trees and i'll go over the next colors we'll use So the next colors we're going to be using are light olive green, a little bit of Mars black, I'm going to use a little bit of yellow ochre, and I'm going to use the rest of my neon orange to mix in with the yellow ochre and the black to make brown for the tree trunk for our palm trees. I've got a size zero filbert brush. And I'm going to take my yellow ochre, orange, and black. A little bit more black. Some water to help that paint flow out of my brush. We'll just have one sweeping in here. And another one here. take my black and my green and just start pulling and flicking out like this little wisps and I'll take my green do the same thing I'm just going to go over this tree trunk 
and then I'll paint over the tree trunk after I'm done this. It'll be easier to show you guys. So I'm not overly blending. I'm just pulling out thin little wisps and lines here. Okay, now I'll start working on this one. Take some black and green again. This one's going to come up a little bit higher. Pull and sweep and flick. I always like to have one little kind of just sticking out. I have a whole um, tropical playlist if you guys um, are wanting really, really in-depth in depth, uh, tutorials. And I demonstrate a lot of different brushes in case you don't feel comfortable with using the one I've got here or if you don't have it. So there's rake fan brushes, there's wisp filberts, round brushes flat ankle brushes. There's blots out there to use and I demonstrate them all. So have a look through my tropical um, and seascape playlist. Just coming in now with a few thicker areas for my green. It's important to have those shadows underneath. So that's why I started with a darker color. And if this dries a little bit too dark, then what I might end up doing is just um, applying a little bit of white to my light olive green after. And going over and making it brighter. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of yellow ochre now with that brown I made with my orange and black earlier. I had a little bit of yellow ochre. I'm going to go right over this. Had a little bit of yellow ochre to start in there, but this will serve as more of a, a highlight. And if you want to have a little texture, just kind of tap and skip a few spaces. I'll do the same thing on this one here. Right in here, I'm going to add a little bit more. I'm going to make this one come out a little bit more, a little bit wider. Just looked like it was missing something. So you can see I'm really loading the end of my brush up like this, and then I'm not applying a lot of pressure. Sort of looks like a little bit of a shadow down here. I think I might play up on that a little bit. My go-to is just thin, watered down, light blue violet. So just what I have already there. I'll just go ahead and add a little bit more. There, you don't have to have too much. Less is more sometimes, right? Kind of pretty just how it is like this but I do want to show you guys uh, the rest of this painting so I'm gonna come in with 
I think just a thin uh, outline here for window trim and then maybe have some sheer curtains, Molly. I'm gonna use a flat brush for this. And what I'm gonna do, this is a uh, number 12, I believe it's, it's flaked off, but I'm gonna get it wet. And I'm gonna take my white, a little bit of black, and I'm gonna make gray to start. And I'm gonna come right from here, can on an angle do this. You can draw it out first if you want, whatever is easier for you. To go across the top. Mix up some more. Before I do anything else, I'm just going to correct this by just taking a little bit of it off there. I'm not going to go um, extreme about making everything perfectly symmetrical because you guys know that I don't I don't enjoy doing that in my paintings. Um, but that was clearly coming down too far. Okay, so just painting this over in gray. I'm getting the top of the canvas too. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of white inside of here because on, I'm gonna have an angle like this, just so that we feel some sunlight on the inside frame here of this window. Okay, because the top here will be a little bit more in shadow, so it's gonna be a little bit darker. I'll add a little bit down below. So add a little line, diagonal line like that. Another one right there and go across. How's that for a view out a window? Wouldn't that be nice? Add a little bit more light. 
could even tint the white or the gray with a bit of that peach. There, bring in a little bit more sunlight. Maybe just a little bit up here. Okay, so for the curtains, I'm just going to use a little bit of white and gray that I've already got here. And I want it to be really transparent and just feel very uh, thin and flowy, sort of. So I'm going to use a little bit more water. And my same flat brush. And we'll just have curtains kind of coming right off here. leave a few spaces in between so that uh, it looks like folds in the curtains. It's a really, really easy way of doing that. I have a few that are narrower and then maybe a larger one that goes off like that. And then do the same thing here. Remember to use your water and to leave those spaces. And then you can also overlap too in some areas to make it look like it's gathered. So it's just like painting sun rays, but just not even. And it doesn't have to be like perfectly on an angle because the breeze is, is blowing. So then I'll just take a little bit more water or white and a little bit of water this time. Just make them look a little bit thicker. But you can see it's just knowing how much uh, water to add and paint. You can easily do this and make your curtains look very transparent, translucent. And it keeps with the theme of this painting, which is just really relaxing. Very relaxing to look at. Peaceful. Okay, well, I really, really had fun painting this, and I hope you guys learned a lot today, got inspired, and want to paint along. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon in another video. Bye!